Hello guys, Bluegrass Coin Hunter here, and today we're going to be going over my US coin type, major types of the 20th and 21st century coin set. The reason why I haven't been able to uh, get a petty box or anything like that lately is because either one, the banks were completely out of stock, or two, I did film a video, but it's, um, it's really bad, but, uh, like, it, I didn't find anything, like, nothing. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna show you guys my, uh, collection here, and yeah. So first we start out with the pennies here, and this is a Native American in head sign. Here is a wheat penny from 1945. Here is a steel cent. I probably need to get a better condition one, but uh, I'll see about it in the next coin show, which is in uh, the first week of October. I'll go ahead, I'll fill some of that. Here's a really nice 1959, a memorial old copper penny. Here is a 2007 zinc penny. And a 2009, and a year to date. So if we move on to the nickels, I have a 1911 NV nickel. I have a 1936 Buffalo. A 1973 Jefferson and nickel. Then I have a 1943 Denver war nickel. I have a 2005 Denver or uh and this one, I believe, is the bison. And then here's a 2018P. So we go down again. Here is a 19... I want to say... Hold on, let me get let me get a better focus on this. Here we go. A 1914 Barber Dime. Pretty good condition. Then I have a 1944 Mercury Dime. Pretty good condition. Then I have a 1963 Roosevelt. This one I probably need to boot out of my album. I'm probably going to get a different one. Then I have a 2023 Philadelphia Roosevelt. So here are the backs for those of you who are curious. Here's that wheat scent that I was telling you about. The one that's been toned. There's a Native American scent. There's the steel scent. There's Memorial. Another Memorial. Lincoln, Lincoln's Boyhood, that was one that was it. And another sealed penny. And then we have a V nickel. Over here, I'm gonna see if I can't flip this over real quick. So in here we have a V nickel, which those are um, V and Roman numeral terms, so it stands for, for number five. We go over here, there's a buffalo. And then 1973. Here's the 2018. Then here's the 2005 Buffalo. Kind of funny because I like to, it's like a stack of a Gil Buffalo and a new Buffalo. I call these Bison and I call these Buffaloes. And then here is the one. Then over here is the dimes. We have what well says here, one dime. Then we have, that looks like a Denver. They have a nickel. Hold on, let me look at the date again. We have a 1944 Denver. Then we go over here. We have a 1963 Philadelphia and Philadelphia. Alright, we'll flip, flip you guys back over. And here are my quarters. We have a barber, an SLQ. A 64 and a quarter. I don't know why, but if you guys wanting, if you're wanting to post down in the comments below, I don't know why it's harder to get silver quarters in my area. It might just be my area. I'm not sure. And then here's a bicentennial. Here's a 1997 clad. Here's a, uh, here's a uh, Kentucky, East Philadelphia. And then over here is 2009. And then right over here is a V75W. Let me see here. Let me flip it over. And that one is a... Is this one. So, 
But yeah, here, I'm just going to flip over the album so y'all can see better. So then, here are all the quarters. There's Kentucky. This from 2001. Pretty cool. This one is a uh, a Weir Farm. And then there's a Bicentennial. There's the silver. Very cool. Now let's go over the half dollars. So we have. A 1910 Barber, a 1935 Ted Walker, a 1963 Benji, a 1964 Kennedy, then I have the Silver Cloud variety, 1967, I have Bicentennial, and then I had a non intended for circulation 2019 Death This one is really good condition, honestly, you can see my phone right there. But yeah, and then we'll go ahead and we'll show the reverses of them. Then I'll get to my dollar coins. There's a couple of them missing from the dollar coins because I've been having trouble well, actually finding them. So uh, then we have uh, the silver bison Daniel 2019. Then we have the silver, the Benjamin, the Walking Liberty, and the Barber. And the barber is from San Francisco. Alright, now on to the dollars. So in the dollar collection, we have a 1900 morning. Now, this one, I was given for, for about $33, but I'll explain the reason why here in a minute. I have a 1923 Peace Dollar. Then I have a 1971 Eisenhower. And then a 1976... 1776 to 1976, I don't know what I'm saying. And then in the 1979, Susan B. Anthony, and then the George Washington presidential little dollar coin. The rest of them are missing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for this one, the American Innovation set, because I'm wanting my home state, Kentucky, to be the holder of that. But uh, I'm going to search for the Sacagaweas and the uh, 2009 Native Americans. But the reason why I picked up that morning for $33 is because if you look at the back here, there are some X's along the eagle on the back. And that causes the coin to lose value. But again, I think Morgans are really cool. I don't think that they should be $33 a piece. Um, the eagle has some really good detail on it, in my opinion. Um, I don't think that this coin was cleaned in any situation. Right over here is a piece dollar. This one's kind of a rougher condition, but then again, it, it's nice to have a piece dollar in your collection. Here's the uh, Eisenhower with the eagle on the moon, and then there's planet Earth. Then over here is the 1776. There's the a bell, and then there's the moon, I think. Right over here, we have the exact same thing with the sec with a with the Susan B. Anthony dollar coin. And over here we have the Statue of Liberty. But yeah, this is my a U.S. type coin collection, major types, as of the 20th and 21st centuries. And then I also have this United States type, which I'm working on. Um, I don't have a whole lot in here. I have a 1808 half cent, a 1826 cent. Now, back in the day, they used to make pennies, like, really big. So, yes, if you're wondering what these are, these are pennies. <laughs> then you have over here a uh, 1855 I've sent. Then over here, you have an, a Native American cent. And then you have this really nice wee penny that I showed you in my album. Um, I wanted to move it over here because this album is supposed to be like kind of like my better album. And then we have a 2009 right here and then if we go over here I have a shield nickel then I have a 1941 San Francisco O nickel then down here we have a 1944 we're done a 1946 dime and then 1984 dime in pretty good condition and if we flip over the page I have a 1912 barber quarter 
1964 better day, better condition uh, quarter. Then over here, I have an 1894 or Barber half dollar. This one is from the San Francisco Mint. Then we go over here, we have a 1936 Walker, then 1957 Benji, and 1964 or Kennedy. And it says clad to date, but I wanted to put a silver clad in there. So I decided to put a 1969 in there. Then we jump back over here. An 1881 Morgan. This one is, I think, one of the first ones, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one is a Philadelphia, I'm pretty sure. It's in really good condition. And then I want to keep it that way, so that's why I put it in here. Um, yeah, it's a Philadelphia. But yeah, it's in really good condition. I would like to keep it in here. Chances are, if somebody wants me to have it slabbed, I'll have it slabbed. But we'll... Let's keep it in here for now. So over here we have a 1972 Eisenhower. Again with the eagle on the moon. And then we have a 1776 through 1976 quarter. Same thing with the half dollar. And then we have another Susan B. Anthony 1979. And yeah, this is my album that I'm going to be working on um, for a little bit. Because currently this album I'm about finished with. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will try my best to get a penny box. It's been kind of dry in my area, because there's apparently more, more coin collectors out there in my area. So, what I think I'm going to do is, is that, um, I'm going to take a pause next week from searching coins as well. And then the week after that is the coin show. And then, I'm going to see if I can't get a, a coin box between now and the IMX show, which I am going to attend, the IMX coin show in uh, October 28th, I believe is the date. Let me check. Should be October 28th. Checking my date right now. October. It's the 26th and 27th and the 28th. Those are the dates for the IMX show. If, uh, you all recognize my voice, let me know. Uh, I will gladly say hi and we can talk some coins. And uh, hopefully, you all have an awesome day. And if I don't see you next week, um, if I do get a penny box, I will search it with you all. But uh, if I manage to not get a penny box next week, then then that that day is that week is just going to be a blank day. And so sometimes we just got to take those days so that we can give our banks enough time to recharge and um, get some penny boxes. So, yeah, thank you all very much for watching and have an awesome day. And you all have good luck hunting.